Well, good afternoon. It's one o'clock. You continue to be with us here at CNN News 18. I'm Rudhima Bhatnagar, getting you all the top stories over the next 60 minutes. We're beginning this broadcast with a top focus coming in from Kerala. Governor Arif Khan has taken on the Pindre government once again, shown an old 2019 attack video. He is claiming that attempts were made to wrongfully restrain or show of criminal force against him. He added that black flags were allegedly raised while he was speaking. Instead of building roads, instead of attracting tourists, their job is to silence who are further against them. Further questions, the Pindre government once again is also asking, who are you to really curtail my past? My past come from the constitution. So fresh flash from flashpoint between the governor and the state government. I believe the governor is now addressing the press. Let's listen in. Biggest event for RSS is their training, OTC officers training. And on the last day, they invite people who are not part of the RSS, prominent people, to speak to them. One or two speakers. At least six times I have addressed them. That kind of relationship I enjoy with them. So, what? What is there? What is unusual? It can't be official. They have, they have every, if people can adhere to an ideology which has originated outside India, I do not have a right to have friendship with RSS. Please reply. Don't sit quietly now. You have right to have loyalty to an ideology which has not originated in India. You have right to believe in the use of force. Sir, your ideology is not a problem. My ideolo ideology is not a problem. Problem is actions which are born out of that ideology. Where you want to, you want to use pressure tactics to frighten people, intimidate people. I'm asking you, how many murders have happened in Kannur? Tell me. Uh, you are saying that. You are saying that. RSS has never been in the government. Whose responsibility is to ensure that these do not happen? Who failed in his duty? Eh? I am? What are you? Ask in a clear manner. Huh? You, can, you can have that opinion. You can have that opinion, but remember, but remember, my association or whatever relationship I have, it started in 1986 when they supported me on Shahbano case. And as they were supporting me, Mr. Nambudri Path was also supporting me. But later, after Nambudri Path, the left changed its stance. Now they became supporters of personal law board. They started inviting personal law board people to their offices. RSS has consistently supported me. Left supported me till 91. So if they change, I can't be held responsible for that. Are you think, do you think that RSS is a banned organization? Do you think they are indulged in something? Why, why Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru? I'm asking.